What's up, World Renowned family? Neil Lowe's Jr. here, owner of World Renowned Real Estate and author of Homes of Luxury. A uh, couple of things, really quickly. Uh, if you heard, I did address you as family. So if you are listening to this, that means that you are giving me permission to speak to you uh, as family from a place of love, no hate, no jealousy, anything like that. Uh, and then in turn, I am giving you permission to do the same to me in the comment section of this video. Um, I know that there are a million places that you could be uh, instead of right here in front of this screen or looking at your phone uh, right now so I don't take it lightly I want to maximize your time now uh, I believe in asking for what you want uh, so I'm going to do that right now so if you find this video of value all I ask that you do is like it and share uh, ask you to participate and put comments in uh, as we go forward as we take this trip and this journey beyond the velvet rope uh, and talk about how to work with the world's affluent whether they are buyers or sellers okay so we're gonna dive right in uh, this is looking like it's going to be possibly 10 weeks of material uh, we are going to get a few uh, you know in, uh, impromptu or spur of the moment uh, live a uh, Facebook live uh, chats going on I don't know when those are but this is going to happen every Monday uh, right here on the homes of luxury Facebook page so make sure that you come back here that you share that you send it to any other agents or anyone that you believe that this content uh, would be um, useful or helpful uh, too so with that being said we're gonna dive right in so we're just gonna cover two points really quickly today now whether they are uh, you know point one or point two uh, is up for debate but to, for for some people but for me uh, I believe they're interchangeable because they are both necessary so the first one that I'm going to lead with is passion so when you're trying to go beyond the velvet rope when we're talking about going beyond the velvet rope uh, we are talking about working uh, with that next level of clientele um, whether it is international luxury affluent whatever you define uh, even if it's move up buyers but for you to get beyond that velvet rope um, the first thing that I believe is passion because if you don't believe in and if you don't love and if you're not passionate about what it is that uh, you're pursuing um, when you have the downs uh, you will find that the the flame you know starts to die out and the, the passion isn't there to fan it so I believe that is the uh, absolute first part and the, the second reason that I believe that passion is so important is because when we're going through the second phase now I'm going to tell you the second phase is not the sexy attractive part but it is the most exciting part because if you get this next part down if you get it done right then it's going to make everything else you do that much more enjoyable you will not hear me say the word easy very much as we're talking about going uh, beyond the velvet rope because I don't believe that anything that is purposeful and meaningful and worth having and building something that lasts is going to be easy okay so as we go beyond the velvet rope your passion is going to take you uh, you know it's going to help you be patient not not patient as in waiting but let me say it's going to help you endure uh, the time when you're waiting in line um, you know when we talk about the velvet rope we usually have uh, in our mind maybe um, an exclusive club VIP scene and when you're waiting in line to get beyond that velvet rope so your passion is what's going to help you uh, endure that waiting period when you are uh, in that line so that leads to one of the biggest and the most critical part next to your passion and that is planning I know you thought that I was going to give you something groundbreaking but when I'm talking about planning I'm talking about working backwards with the end in mind so we want to begin with the end in mind so the vision is what's going to pull you from where you are right now to getting beyond the velvet rope so when I say that we want to work backwards from the end uh, with the end in mind we want to know uh, what is it that we're trying to accomplish and why once we know the what and the why we'll figure out the how so once you have your eye and once you've made your mind up on what it is you want to achieve and why you want to achieve it then we'll figure out the how along the path now the vision should not change your vision of who you want to work with and how you want to work with them should not change the specifics the how will tweak 
but that's why we plan uh, initially up front and it is such a vital part if you look at anyone who has had sustained success and an impact in whatever it is they've, that they've done or they're doing is because at some point they went back and they laid a foundation of planning of how they were going to go uh, from A to Z. Now, did B through Y change? Yes, it did. But they knew and they kept their eye on what that Z was. So planning is one of the uh, most important. Now, so when we're talking about the uh, velvet rope, so you be getting beyond the velvet rope for you could be working with, uh, you know, affluent international clientele. It could be working with uh, domestic uh, affluent clientele. Now, they are going to be different. That's why the planning phase is so important, because how you contact or how you connect or position yourself to work with international clientele is going to be markedly different from a domestic uh, customer. Uh, the same can be said uh, about if you're trying to break into the upper upper echelon of investment clientele is going to be totally different than if you were working with solely celebrity clientele or clients so that's why we want to think about that in the beginning so that as we make decisions uh, as we work on our branding and our positioning and the decisions we make you know on the day-to-day -day, when we have a clear vision of where we want to go on the long run it's going to make our journey less stressful not easy but less stressful because we have um, that in mind all right also the reason planning is so important is because it removes that barrier of being unprepared how many times have you guys heard, well, I wasn't ready? So the worst thing that we can do, the worst thing that you can do is get to the velvet rope and be unprepared to cross over. You never know. You never know when that opportunity is going to come and when it's going to be your chance to break through uh, and get uh, beyond the velvet rope. So being prepared or planning to be prepared means that if you want to work with high uh, net worth or um, influential investor clientele, Part of your planning should be to be well versed and knowledgeable in investment terminology or products or, or the lingo or the culture. Culture. The same thing with uh, if your uh, goal for or your idea of getting beyond the velvet rope is working with you know the Asian culture or the Chinese um, uh, buyers coming into Miami or Florida or the U.S. wherever they are. But when you know what your plan is and you execute your plan, what you've done is you've removed that barrier of being unprepared. So you can do whatever necessary before you need it. So that's why we always want to be prepared for an opportunity whenever it may come. So those are the two things that we're, I wanted to cover today. Uh, that's just purpose and uh, planning, not purpose, I'm sorry, passion and planning. So your purpose is tied to your passion uh, and then planning, of course. So that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for taking the few moments to watch this. Uh, if you guys you know, like it, share it, uh, comment on it, let me know what it is that you're looking for. So I can tell you next week, next Monday, we're going to talk about can you swim with sharks? So can you swim with sharks? Let me know if you can swim with sharks in the comment section below. Until then, World Renowned Family, love you guys. Peace. Don't be average. Be World Renowned.